Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Ankush Paul. Today we bring few updates in ad application and web application. So in this particular video, you just gonna learn that what are the special updates we just give to you and how to use that particular updates in a broadly manner. Okay, in this video, we bring four new updates for you and ad applications. So now you understand what are the special update we just bring for you. Starting with the first one, which is known as auto margin update. Now, what is auto margin update? See, suppose I want to buy Hindustan Unilever shares while going to the Hindustan Unilever script and select buy. After selecting the buy button, here is a one quantity it show. What if I want to buy a 10 quantity of uh, Hindustan Unilever shares? If I just click 10, then see here inside in the margin recorded, it's coming 5350 rupees and 61 pence. It's earlier, it's not a auto margin update, it's not auto updated. Again, we have to manually update it earlier versions, but now we give the update where you can put onto the quantity. If I change the quantity to 10 to 50, see the below the margin is automatically updated. So it's a very useful tool by doing the printing. Okay, so this is the first thing we just bring over here. Now the second thing we're talking about, now the second update is coming for chart summary. Earlier we make a specific video on chart, two updates we just gave earlier also, one is called pop-out chart and the second is multiple chart layout. So if you forget to see that particular video, go to the description box. I just punch the link over there. Please go and see that particular video. It's a very useful tool and there I just specifically understand you, understood you, how you use that particular multiple chart here. Okay, so if you forget, go in the below description box, see that particular link. Okay, now the thing is that, what is compare? The second option we just bring, the second update we just bring is compare the chart. Now, how you compare and what is the benefit we just get from the, after com compare the chart from any particular indices or any particular stock. Suppose I open Bank Nifty. This is a Bank Nifty future chart. I open the Bank Nifty future chart. So I want to see what is the correlation between Bank Nifty future and HDFC Bank because HDFC Bank contribute is more in Nifty Bank. So I want to see I want to see the correlation between Bank Nifty future chart and HDFC Bank. So here in the compare session, I just click over here. I type HDFC Bank. This is the first one, NSC one. I just click over here. Now the HDFC bank is going to be coming. So for proper analysis, I just here go, convert the bank nifty candle chart to a line chart. So blue one is talking about the bank nifty chart and the yellow one is talking about nothing yellow, like simply like orange one is talking about the HDFC bank chart. So here we can clearly understand that when the market is going to be fall in a bank nifty, same on the other side, the bank nifty, uh, the HDFC bank is also going to be fall. So here the correlations between HDFC bank and bank nifty is most probably the same. Okay, so see over here, when the bank nifty is going to be from here, when the bank nifty is going to be on an upscale, uh, towards 232 points on the same time see over here the HDFC bank is climbed up to 237 points so most probably we also know that the HDFC bank is contributed to the nifty bank is a very broad figure so this is the second update here you can easily understand if the bank nifty is going to be fall then how much point the HDFC bank or any particular script is going to be fall you can clearly analyze each and everything while doing the compare things Okay, so this is the second update. Now we are talking about the third update. Third update is really I like it the most because this is talking about the scanner. Okay, so this is a screener and we just see that the equities and future screener is very important and it's a, it's a very easy to use, handy to use. So suppose Nifty Bank is going to be give the breakout. So what are the stocks come under Nifty Bank? They are also give the breakout. So how we analyze that particular stocks how you have if i want to buy bandhan bank if i want to buy ICC bank how do i analyze this and how we know that which bank is on a higher side which bank changes percentages more same equal to the bank nifty and all so we just in this equity sessions you just see that equity sessions we just give uh sector allocated uh, stocks and all so here you can easily come here just like I, if i'm just like i give the example of nifty bank so in the banking section if you come over here all the big big banks are listed over here so easily you can understand how it is very use, useful to you 
right so here when you come uh, into the banking sector if the nifty bank is going to be give the breakout so suppose if give the breakout so this is the lowest percentage changes means icc bank so icc bank contribute a little bit higher in the bank nifty so i suddenly i just come over here i go to the icc bank chart and if i want suppose i just uh, see the chart from some other portals and all so i want to buy uh, the icc bank stock so here you can single click buy button you can easily buy from here also it's a very 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 useful tools and predefined sectors are coming over here now the second second thing is means the same if a trader of a future and options want to see the screener and all they can single click into the futures here and here you, he can easily scan the first we just give the index scanner suppose here you can understand now the market is going to be off that why the changes is not showing when the market is running the changes each and open high each and everything is showing over there so you can understand that which I mean, index is in the positive figure which index um is in the negative figure which index is in a consolidated figure so you can understand here in a better perspective now if suppose i want to trade in a bank nifty okay i want to see which stock which uh, stock future banking stock future contribute most in the bank nifty to push upside or pull down okay so on a single click into the bank nifty you can easily see over here what is the contribution of bank nifty hdfc bank towards to push the nifty up icc bank same as well as axis bank and if i found that i want to see no i want to see the chart of axis bank future you can single click over here you can easily see the visible the chart over here or else if you if suppose i want to buy the axis bank uh, future one so easily click over here you can buy the future one okay now the thing is that this is the <clears throat> the trader want to trade in a nifty 50 liquidity okay so single click in nifty liquidity here you can find all the nifty stocks which are come in the fno zone we just push that particular stock 10 tool stock over here here you can easily analyze this with stocks if contributed nifty to pull push up and pull down so here if i found that the reliance is going a little bit go and the changes percentage is uh, on a higher side so here on a single click on a chart you can see the chart over here or else if you want to trade on nifty uh, sorry reliance future chart so by click on a buy or sell button here you can do the auto execution somehow suppose major of the traders are, are seeing the open high and low open and high open and low they are seeing so easily they can find over here if the open is equal to higher if open is equal to low they can trade over here which is reduce the time of a trader so now the last now the last is talking about the major update which is called price alert many of the people are talking about so give the price alert and price alert so now we are pushing the price alert into the web applications as well in the mobile application mobile application which is recorded a video on monday so you just get a video on monday evening in a youtube okay so now what is how the price alert is going to be work in hand applications suppose i want to trade in an infosys okay suppose i want to see the chart of infosys in a five minute time frame i just convert this chart in a candlestick pattern now here i can see that the market give the it take the support over somewhere around this particular zone so i just put the horizontal line over here so now i want to trade in infosys if if the condition is if when the stock price is break 1525 this level when the stock prices come over this level 1525 then i want to buy the infosys stock so how it is possible it's only possible while setting the alert so how to set the infosys alert or any particular stock alert? first we go to the order sections and here the alert now you click on new alert now here i want to give the name is infosys infy infosys alert okay so here the last rate price is for the stock of infosys i just select the infosys once greater than and equal to 1525 okay so after setting all these things now i just click on create now here the notification is going to become that alert is created and below here you can visible that infosys alert is visible over here it's not trigger okay so when the prices come around 1525 then the first notification you get at your phone and the second notification is coming to your mail so it's a very important features and by seeing the particular alert you can clearly go over there and do the trade so this is the special update we just bring for here next week we are also planning for bringing some new updates for you
so if you feel that this is really good for you then please give a little bit thumbs up and if you feel what are the extra feature you want then please comment down below we we'll definitely bring that for you thank you everyone for watching this video investment in securities markets are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing